So this will be our call to order for the Ordinance Committee for December 8, 2014. I'm Councillor David Murphy. Councillor Maureen Carney is here. Councillor Ryan O'Donnell here is here and Pam Powers is here and we're it. There is no public, so no public comment, lacking a public. Um, I'm going to announce that you're watching video and Pam's taking minutes and uh, so we'll be well documented. Uh, how about approval of minutes from November 10th? Do we have a motion? Move approval. That's I'll second, second. that All motion. Right. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, first we have some appointments. Uh, the first one is an appointment to the Arts Council of Cassandra, is it Kellum? Cassandra Kellum. Yes. I, well, <coughs> any, before, any luck reaching her? Before or? I make a motion uh, to that effect, I will say that I did call Cassandra Kellum. However, my call um, was as late as today, and unfortunately, I'm confused because the number that I have on file three numbers for phone, cell, and home are all identical, but yet a different name answers the, answers the phone. Uh, um, and so I'm confused by that. It may require that we confirm that we have correct info. It's odd because all three numbers were written identically. And so I, I'm afraid that we may need a little more time on that appointment. Although I would entertain someone, or, or I, if someone would consider, uh, I would put forth moving her name forward with a positive recommendation on the, on the condition that I reach Cassandra and that I find nothing objectionable in that conversation. I would second that if that's your preference. Yes. Oh, only because, um, because it's not her fault that the, it could have been a Scrivener's error somewhere. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I hate to hold up. I know the Arts Council has been waiting quite a while to be populated with its members. And, mm -hmm. I, and I know that the, that the uh, member has been vetted by the mayor's office and interviewed. Right. So mm -hmm. pending any, any large concerns I could find when I do reach her, I would move her name forward with a positive recommendation. Mm -hmm. And it does say here that she started the process with us on September 18th, so we probably should yes. move her along. Uh, yes. So you're yeah. comfortable with a second? I have a second. Yeah. Okay, and then if, once you've reached her, when it when it gets I'm to the council, to if there's any email. concerns, just, just we, this synopsis. won't come up for like two weeks almost. So we'll I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, so all in favor of rec the recommendation, say aye. 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 And the other appointment we had to deal with was to the Board of Almonders, and that was Andrea Murray of Day Avenue. Yeah. Your award. Um, I, I would move a positive recommendation of this appointment. Should I wait for a second? I'll make a second. I? Okay, thank you. Um, and, you know, actually, this is a reappointment. She's been on it for seven years. Oh. And um, we had a nice conversation, and she's dedicated to the position, and I think she'll continue to do a good job. Super. Okay. All right. Then, uh, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Then that one's done. Uh, the next one is the confusing Middle Street ordinances, and um, it appears that in the packet there were two, but I understand you've examined them and straightened out which one is the correct one. Uh, we, we believe we've straightened it out. <laughs> so there was an original ordinance that our intention was to replace with a slightly different ordinance in this committee in April. Um, but the old one is still hanging around, and mm -hmm. that's our understanding. We may want to review the minutes, but we absolutely should. All right. And the only, just for the public, the only difference was a street measurement. It was the same exactly. hours and the same function, but there were two different street measurements. So, um, and it's at least our recommendation that we dealt with that in April, and it had already moved forward and showed up at council, but there was some confusion about it. So. Um, well, just in, in case the minutes never appear, mm -hmm. and because council was confused as well and didn't have a first reading on this, can I have a motion for the correct one? And we'll just resend it, and that way there'll be a paper trail since we, council's. So moved. Yeah, council passed on it the last time, so this time it will come back with a fresh recommendation, even though I think it, it already has happened in April. So this is a motion on schedule. Um, 
Section 312.104, Schedule 3 limited time parking. Mm -hmm. And I think that's this one, right? That's this one. And that right. is the correct one. Okay, and that's is the that correct one. Right? Yeah. So you moved it. Uh, I would second. We'll second it. And uh, any other discussion since we've we, we think we've already, dis <laughs> we already discussed it in April. Um, we've had adequate discussion. Adequate discussion. discussion. All right. So, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Gentlemen. The, the, the alarm went off. Alarm went off. Oh, oh have it. This one? Yeah. Does that mean we can, can we, that mean we can leave? What no, kind of alarm are breaking? Okay. You know, and it's something, because we're the ordinance committee. Oh. And see, we've drawn a crowd tonight. You want to make public comment while you're here? Okay. We're being recorded if you want to come for posterity and a little action video of the police responding to the ordinance committee breaking into City Hall here. <laughs> Thank you for your attention to the alarm. This alarm hasn't been going off, though. This is considered the second floor? No, this is the third floor. Third floor? Okay. Yeah. You the go second down floor is the school the department. Floor. Yeah. Okay. You can go was check you, them. Was there anybody down there? We don't know. We've only been right up here. here. Okay. Okay. It might be worth checking that out, though. Okay. Right. Turn you guys. Oh no! No! No okay. problem. No problem. Um. <clears throat> yeah, just the back stairs is probably the best way to get there if it's open. Get there. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So after a short interlude with the police department. Um, <laughs> I guess we voted on we voted on Middle Street, so we're done with that. Now the next one um, is the infamous plastic bag ordinance. It was my understanding that the sponsors were holding that. Can I ask a quick question about the sure. previous item? Well, should, yes. should we dispense somehow formally of the other ordinance so it doesn't come back to haunt us again, the one that we're not advancing? Because it seems to exist, or do we just consider it to be an error? I'm, I'm considering it's an error because okay. you know we it's in our minutes we it was our recollection that we replaced the old one with the new one so the old one isn't there anymore more of an amendment then. yeah it was more of just changing the distances um, so perhaps what we can do is uh, check with the solicitor between now and the meeting and see whether he wants to dispose you know to merge the numbers or okay. how he wants to do the, the actual clerical work of the fact that one's moving forward and one isn't because we thought we just changed it as the distances so I, I just want to point out though that the that the 312 103 mm -hmm. which is the one you're eliminating mm -hmm. talks about it addresses no parking certain times mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you're making this two hour parking so I think that it you know what I'm I, I think, if I can sure, inter please. interject, please. I think that the, the one that we think is incorrect, 312.103, looks like it's actually in the wrong form, too. I don't know the section of the code that says no parking certain times. And this is 312.103, and the correct one is 312.104, Schedule 3, limited time parking, which I think that is the correct section of the ordinance. Mm -hmm. okay. the so color it's board totally system. wrong. Mm -hmm. Was this perhaps the temporary... One that we it could have been the temporary one because the temporary, the the ability to make a temporary ordinance for up to 120 days is a different section of the code. Yeah. So that could be just the yeah. the leftover one from that. But you know, it's clear that our intent is the second one. So we can okay. between now and the time the council actually does the deed and votes on this, we'll be able to ascertain what is what. But. I think our intent is pretty clear after this time what we're trying to accomplish. So. Okay. So, do you want me to follow up with? If you if you would and just, you know, we and check and see, but it is a different section of the code for those temporary traffic. Remember backwards parking? Oh yes. That's how that backwards was, parking happened. Right. That these were experimental types of yeah. things that were mm -hmm. correct for that. So you may be correct. That may be what it what it is. Okay, so the next one um, is the ordinance regarding plastic bag reduction, and I think I'm correct that the sponsors of that are holding that, right? Uh, Councilor Adams and Councilor Specter are doing something, rewriting it or something. So. They're holding their the, this in Edlu 
okay. on the 17th okay. of December together. So, they wanted to do it together, so. Okay, so then we'll wait for Edlu, whatever Edlu does, and then we'll act after that. So that takes care of that one. Um, moving along, criminal dispositions. That's this is the one, or, uh, that's solid waste. The, the next one is uh, the salaries and benefits. And that was at finance at the end of last month and was returned with a positive recommendation. Could you elaborate? Was there any more discussion at that meeting? That um, Councillor Adams pretty much led the discussion there. Councillor Dwight was not with us. He was traveling, I think, at that point in time. But Councillor Adams had actually um, examined the report from, from the committee that made the recommendation and had substantiated you know, the research that they did and referred to the salary schedules from the various surrounding similar communities and, uh, and, and made a very valid case for the fact that these other communities are considerably higher than Northampton is and that you know, their analysis of the facts on the ground were, you know, were, were correct and that their recommendation was in line with what was happening in other communities. Um, I'd actually asked him if he would mind coming here tonight because he had, you know, he had done a very, he had done good research and he had a very salient presentation on why he thought it was the right thing to do, but he's traveling right now. He's, he's out of town and was unable to come. Um, I am, you know, he said that, that he couldn't be here tonight, but that he would make the same presentation at council when this comes up at council. Mm -hmm. But he really did for each of the, each of the positions where there was a recommendation. Actually, um, several of the positions, um, I think even the mayor and the clerk, he could make the case for the fact that the surveys indicated higher than was recommended. Mm. You know, not considerably, but they just sort of picked a number near what the survey result was. But in, in the clerk's case, and I think in the mayor's case, they were low. Not by a lot, but a thousand or two. Um, and I'll just add, um, from my cursory research of the, just doing the numbers, looking at the counselor um, salary increase, the recommended uh, increase is actually less than what the cost of a living adjustment would be tabulated over 24 years and with compounded interest. So, uh, but although I didn't feel it, were, it warranted amending what was presented to us to match that entirely, I feel very comfortable that the recommended amount falls within the scope of mm -hmm. COLA, and adjusted for inflation <coughs> costs over 24 years since the last time that there was ever an increase for counselors. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, they, they, don't they just speculate it's been at least 24, they don't seem to really know. I, th I thought that they had a, a, a date of 1990 yeah, no. when there was an increase to $5,000. I think prior to that it might have been 2500 I, anyone, anyone here? Remember the report mentioned 24 years. Because yeah. I know Councilor Labarge is on okay. on finance. Councilor Labarge is the senior member of the council. I mean, she's been here. Oh, huh? both by tenure and by age, which is only 18. She's been on the council 18 years. Yeah, yeah she has. She said it preceded her by a lot. Oh so yeah, she doesn't by many even years. And the only reason that I rep that I mentioned both by seniority and by age is that, that oddly enough, many of our own rules reference not just the senior, meaning longest serving counselor, but the actual eldest, mm -hmm. which is an odd. Mm -hmm. We may want to look back at our. Because I don't know, from, for me, I don't know that actual birth age is relevant in any case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because usually with the body, it's senior member of the body in mm -hmm. terms of years served, served by the body, yes. not, you age. know, not age. But luckily, we don't have a problem since Councilor Barge covers both options. 
So <laughs> whatever, however we call it, she still Not comes that out. Not ask her age. But yeah. Oh, she told us she had a birthday. Okay. I, I just want to clarify that one <clears throat> thing that that the finance committee did, and mm -hmm. that is that they indicated no recommendation for the send it back to the council with no recommendation for the city clerk because because that's true because the discussion there that was the one that was really the survey was lower yeah. and mm -hmm. they felt like they recommended an increase but there was discussion about the fact that maybe the increase should be more because the survey results were higher than the recommendation yeah. and I think that's how that came about was that rather than us recommending a higher number we just send it back to say it appears a higher number may be justified mm -hmm. but <clears throat> Finance didn't feel like they were the ones that should say so. It should be on the floor at the council and decided by the committee of the whole since this is something that I think everybody's going to want to weigh in on it to some extent. And that's something I was going to ask here tonight. I mean, as ordinance, yeah. all of these things are kind of in due form, which is what our, you know, mm -hmm. position should be. Um, you know, do we want to give it a recommendation or just say we've reviewed it and we send it to the council without a recommendation for the council to deal with I yeah I, I agree I think that a neutral recommendation is mm -hmm. more appropriate yeah that there's no we have no issues with it but if this really is a sort of item that is of interest well, to each and every counselor and you know rather than prejudice anybody just say it's in due form deal with it Council. And may I, I do appreciate Councillor O'Donnell's reference to this as a neutral recommendation because mm -hmm. it's often really confusing when we send things, when we say we're sending with no recommendation mm -hmm. or because then I think there's an implication there that it's a negative or, mm -hmm. or yeah. Right. So I think that if there's some way that we can make consistent the way that we send things forward that when mm -hmm. we mean them to be neutral, that that's mm -hmm. how we describe them. That's a good mm -hmm. way of putting it. Okay. Yeah, because I do think there should be no prejudice one way or the other right. unless it's council. It's it's truly that's the committee of the whole is who should be dealing with this, and uh, and we should say it's in due form, and um, right. we should. Do, but it should be really be dealt with at that level it's and not by us. Yes, so. I do have a couple of kind of processy mm -hmm. form type mm -hmm. of questions if I can. The first is about the mayor's salary, mm -hmm. which would increase the first Monday in 2016. And that's in keeping with what we would do for stipend increases for the council and school committee because we wouldn't want to increase them during the current mm -hmm. term. And I think the charter is moot on the clerk, but I think with the rest of us, it has to change after the next municipal election. That's right. Yeah. And so just my observation about that, though, I think the reason it, it, the clerk doesn't matter in this sense is because the clerk is not in any way taking action on it and wouldn't mm -hmm. stand to benefit from the salary. Mm -hmm. And the council would stand to benefit, so we delay it until 2016. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mayor, I'm wondering um, if, I assume the solicitor has seen all these, um, but I'm wondering if the mayor's salary shouldn't take effect the first Monday of 2018. <coughs> Because although he won't be voting on it, he will be signing into the law or allowing it to become law without his signature. And, and, and I think I think it's not up to us. I think it's in the charter the way it happens. It's, it says municipal election. The next municipal election. election. So not Whether the, or not, not at the next election of mayor, but at the next, the next municipal, municipal election. election. So while he won't be on the ballot, it is a municipal it's election. A municipal election. And that's that's a question that's yeah. a good question. We yeah. probably want to ask the solicitor to weigh in on that before we reach council. Right. <laughs> uh, right. We wouldn't want this to be a big thing on the floor of the council. No. Uh, if we could have an opinion from the solicitor yeah. to, mm -hmm. to address it. But I know at the state level when they're weighing um, changes for elected official salaries. It's 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 assumed that if the next governor signs them, they won't take effect for that governor. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's there, there might be a state law that mm -hmm. applies to all. So yeah. something to find yeah. out before we. Uh, but in this one, it's the charter rules. So whatever well, state law would trump mm -hmm. the charter with them. But the charter, I think the charter addresses us, whatever us is. What you know, whatever whatever affects us oh. is in the charter. So. So it would be nice to ask that question to the solicitor, which I'm happy to do, if that's the best way to do it, or what well, you'd like to do. No, it. I'm, I'm happy to, 
and it, it'll be in our in our recommendation, you know, or our, our or our neutral recommendation will be our recommendation that that question be ruled on by the solicitor prior to council meeting. So um, when it comes up there, there will be an answer. <laughs> okay. We won't have to deal with it. Thank you. The solicitor can say, yep, the mayor's covered on that date, even if the mayor uh, isn't on the ballot. It is a municipal election and the mayor's covered by that. But it's a good question. Yeah, I wouldn't want to put the mayor in an awkward position. Right now. <clears throat> Um, the, the only other hey, question. they missed me. Ah. Maybe they'll watch That's the tape later. 45 minutes before they noticed I wasn't there anymore. This is my doctor's office. Right? Um, and I don't know if you want to move on to the other side, but just say a brief comment. Um, this is like the last thing on our agenda, anyway. Okay. Oh, no, we have one more thing to amend the rules to add DPW committee. Just on, on the issue of the report, I don't know if this came up in finance mm -hmm. or if others have thought about it, but I, it seems the report is challenging because it's it's not an a la carte report. And what the report recommended, <coughs> which I actually personally disagree with, is also removing health care benefits mm -hmm. from part-time elected officials. But we, are, we, we don't have an ordinance to do that in here. Yeah. So we have sort of decided not to remove health care, which I think is appropriate. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good decision. My only question is, uh, in the compensation committee, when they made a recommendation to increase stipends, it, it seems they connected it to the health care issue. Like the stipend increase was partially to compensate for the removal of health care. And if you do one and not the other, I don't know if that's a concern. If anyone oh, else. Here, here, okay, here's my thought on that. It is our prerogative to take the recommendations from that committee and do with them what we deem best. One irony I thought was that a lot of work was put into was put into comparing the salaries of the um, relative towns, West Springfield and Westfield and many of those other towns mm -hmm. with regard to salary in order to indicate that Many of those towns have had a significant increase in salary over the years compared to Northampton's, which has remained stagnant. And yet, with regard to the recommendation to drop from health care benefits the uh, elected officials, there was no reference to those same compared cities and mm -hmm. towns who do no such thing in some cases, there may be variable effects on how they treat their, uh, their access to their legal access by state law access to health care benefits. Some allow 70%, some allow 100%, some allow 80 But no city or town in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts deprives elected officials of access to health care benefits. And if we were to move forward in that direction, we would be the very first in the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. and I think it would be, it, that would be a very big deal, not just here in the city of Northampton, <coughs> but all across the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And, the, and it, it is one of the ordinances we're discussing right now. Um, section 5, subsection 5-5B, five five benefits. Um, yes, benefits, yes. And the mayor, city clerk, city council, school committee, and trustees of Smith Vocational and Agricultural High School. Uh, shall be eligible to enroll in the city's municipal health insurance program and retirement plans. I would like to amend that to say consistent with Mass General Law and make reference to that Mass General Law that does allow that mm -hmm. for all cities and towns across mm -hmm. Massachusetts. Uh, just to clarify that, just so that it's not just seen as something well, we're choosing to do in Northampton, mm -hmm. but in fact that virtually all 333 cities and towns in Massachusetts mm -hmm. allow those mm -hmm. to. Now, is it because this is both municipal health insurance and retirement plans? And I know the retirement plan is in statute, but is the health insurance as yes, well? Yes, there is. They're, they're both and, and there. Yeah, yes, you can actually see in, in somewhere in statute. I mean, if it's helpful for us to actually research and find that before mm -hmm. I make that, I, I'll, I'll, def I'll actually like to not make that amendment here on the floor in ordinance. But I would like us to, in preparation mm -hmm. for any amendments that might be offered mm -hmm. at the council level, this have a reference mm -hmm. to that law mm -hmm. that does allow that. 
So, and this was upon the recommendation of the mayor. Yes. So what I might suggest we do is, you know, have Ch Pam check back with the mayor's office because he's the maker of this. Yeah. And we're going to send all these back with a neutral recommendation and ask the mayor if he would please do the research. Make and reference to that. Make reference to it or um, perhaps put it in the language of it and make reference to it before it yeah. gets council. Yeah. If that, I, yeah. So it sounds like a, yeah. 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 a reasonable and thing to add. To, because if it's the case, it certainly makes a stronger case for the president of continuing to do it if it's ensconced in state statute. Yeah. And Absolutely. it also it also does point to, I hate to say it, but one flaw in the in the study in that there was a, a very deliberate comparison among cities and towns regarding salary, but in the recommendation to slash benefits, there was no research. Well, I don't know if there was any research, but there can be there, I don't think there is any city or town across the Commonwealth that actually does that same thing. Some vary in the amount. Some allow 70%, some allow 80%, some allow 100%, some allow a car. I mean, there are many things, there are many other perks, but I think the fact that it was made, that the recommendation was made with no comparison at all and no language mm -hmm. is something that mm -hmm. makes it very confusing for the reader. Yeah. So, so just going through these, to, I want to account for all of them in the record. So, section five, subsection five dash five B, is the benefits and the benefits, and we're going to include those in our motion. You know, with with a neutral recommendation, with with the recommendation to the mayor that he check that research with statute about whether benefits and retirement is provided for in state law and if so reference it mm -hmm. in the ordinance okay then the next one recommended by the mayor were uh to change the compensation for council president to ten thousand dollars to at large counselor to nine thousand five hundred dollars and the ward counselor for nine thousand dollars that one is going to be included in our neutral recommendation yes. um then 5-5A, the city clerk, uh, was going to be raised to $71,250, and we're including the city clerk in our recommendation. And the mayor- Neutral recommendation? Neutral or recommend or no, the neutral recommendation. The I think, oh, I mean, because okay. that one was also, the number wasn't specified by, by finance only because they felt like that one, the mayor was really close to the average, but the city clerk wasn't as close. So that that would get Being reviewed. Lower than average. It was lower, a little bit lower. Then 5-5A, um, the mayor would change from 80,000 to 92.5. Um, and it says as of January 4, 16, but we're also asking to be sure that that is consistent. And then- Not uh, just with the charter, but with, with state. With state. Ethics law, actually. Yeah. And then um, at-large school committee member would change from 2,500 to 55. Ward school committee member would change from 2,500 to 5,000. Smith vote trustees would change from 2,500 to 5,000. Uh, the elector of the will under Oliver Smith is $10 and would remain $10. And that the trustees under the will of Charles Forbes and community preservation elected representatives at large are not compensated now and would continue to not be compensated under the new recommendation. And that's all of them. Um, so a, a motion to move forward with a neutral recommendation? I would move the move all as a group. Second. Neutral. Yeah. Second? Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And then the last one is on the recommendation of Councillor Adams and Dwight. This is the creation um, in the rules of the Public Works Committee. This referred to so us. it was <clears throat> it wasn't it was on the agenda for a first reading, but just in case someone had thought that it should have been referred to this committee, I put it on this agenda. Oh. Because of the timing, it would have. But it was not referred. 
-hmm. And it was not, did it have first reading? I don't know. We did have first reading. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. So it had first reading. No one thought that it needed to be reviewed by this committee, mm -hmm. so. So what is your opinion? Do we need to re review it or shall we just send our assent back that the council is able to change its own rules without us if it wishes to? Well, I think, I think the fact is we have to review ordinances, but not orders. Well, orders. You are the orders committee. We are, we are orders. and rules yes, and orders. We'll say, remember when we tried to, um, and and appointments, of course, but other mm -hmm. things we don't have to take up. Yeah. And also, I don't think it was. Well, appoint, but appointments, the charter says, must come to us. Yeah. Because we used to remember just the reappointments we just did at council, because you know some have been serving on a committee right. for twelve years and right. they were up for reappointment and. You know, the committee chair put them to the mayor to reappoint them because they liked them, but we didn't think, you know, that was good enough for us, but the charter says differently. And I think our rules are quite require all ordinances to come here, yeah. but I don't yes. know anything about orders. Mm hmm So, um... Unless I'm... I could be mistaken, that's my okay. Well, just to cover ourselves, shall we acquiesce to give it a positive recommendation anyway? But is it here? It's well to you now. It didn't get it sent here. To us, but. It didn't get sent, but I, did, I didn't want to get caught in that quagmire of needing 48 hours notice because then you wouldn't mm -hmm. you do it again until. Well, it, in that case, it, it can't, if it can't hurt and can only really move things okay. along, then so, I, I, go, I, I sure would move okay. for positive, positive recommendation. Okay. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So now. We never have to worry about the fact that it didn't go here. Okay. <laughs> may and I, Middle Street's been here several times. <laughs> may, I, uh, may I bring him, bring us back to uh, the first item on our agenda? Would that be the appointments? The appointment of Cassandra Cullen. Mm -hmm. I must confess that those three numbers that I tried the numerous times, I have discovered that through my numer my uh, dis dysnumeria, dis dis Numerica, it's whatever it is with numbers as it would be with, with letters instead of dyslexia. Does anyone know what that term is? It means you shouldn't do my taxes right. <laughs> I, <laughs> unfortunately, I have been dialing, I automatically assume a 413 no, area. Okay. I've done that. And unfortunately, the numbers that I were calling were a 413 area when in fact Miss Kellum has a 518. So in the meantime, I have sent a quick text to her and asked if she had any questions of us and let her know that I will still try to call her, but I have not heard yet anything back in these 15 minutes during which we've been meeting. So I hope to keep you all, if that, if that motion still stands, mm -hmm. barring any real concerns through a communication, I'd like to have her appointment be mm -hmm. still with a positive recommendation. Well, it gets the council. We've already done. When it gets it, the okay. council, if you've spoken to her, you can move her. If you move her, we'll know you talked okay. to her and everything was fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice, then. you know, because. For the record, my apologies <clears throat> to Miss Kelly. Well, and you know, we're just so lucky that so many people take an interest and want to serve on these committees. We should. I don't think you know. It's hard to try and do anything that discourages people from wanting to do this. And right. you know, realistically speaking the mayor vets them the mayor recommends them i mean i think the protocol is nice if you know with this mayor he seems to be very prudent but we get a crazy mayor someday we might want to exercise our, our you know our, our oversight a little bit more but so far the people we've seen have been very good and and we're just lucky to have so much interest in, mm -hmm. in volunteering and doing doing work for the city i mean i was on my first committee in 78 Wow. As an associate member. Was Which the, committee? The committee that brought cable TV to North Ah. Oh. And the horse drawn carriage committee. There was cable yeah. TV in 1978? Absolutely. It was hand cranked, but it was cable TV. <laughs> and uh, and I've been on ever since. I've never, I've been on a committee ever since then. And it's just, you know, it's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good thing to do. So that brings us to the end of our agenda. So is there any, I don't have any on, Anticipated or expected business? Do any of you have any? I would move. I do not adjourn. Move I'll second. Adjourn. Pam, you don't have any un, except for maybe the public works committee. Oh, so uh, yeah. Now, 
we did just get referred that. Does that is that for the next meeting or is it? It have second reading at the next meeting. Oh, I, I oh no, I understand. We we decided it didn't need to be referred. That it was something we could deal with right at the council level because it was just our rules. Okay. But we you blessed it anyway, just in case. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take that motion. Okay. And it was made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Mm -hmm.